Yeah, so right now I'm in an industrial park in Lincoln and if I just pan the camera over we can see that there is a mast up there. If I just zoom in a bit to the bottom row we can see that there's a quad band, comscope, antenna and a catherine as well. If we just zoom up the sort of EN3 equipment but it's the O2 antennas at the bottom there that we are sort of most interested in what they are broadcasting. Now as expected we can see that the band 20 is very strong here and being an O2 site obviously we expect to see band 20 there. However if I just go to LTE bands here and select band 3 we'll see that it also is carrying band 3. However if I now go to select band 1 we'll be able to see that this mast is in fact carrying band 1 4G as well, which is something that Vodafone has been doing, band 1 4G, for a few months now since the summer, but we've never seen O2 do it previously. Now if I just pan over to my LG G4 here, we can see it's sat on cell 114, which is the band 3 4G. It's not ca bizarrely enough, but it is seeing it is swapping between sort of band 3 and band 20. But we can see here that that certainly forced is sat on band 1 LTE which has the cell ID of 125. Now what I'm going to do is just speed test that band 1 4G. So I just lock the LG G4 to band 1. So you can see now the LG G4 is on band 1 4G. So now let's just give it a bit of a speed test and see how fast it is. I am sort of in the car at the moment but we can see that we're getting about five, six, seven, eight megabits per second on the band one 4G. Now I've also got a Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge Plus here, which is 3CA. So I'm gonna stick the O2 SIM card in the S6 Edge Plus and so we can see what if we can get 3CA across those bands. I've now pop the SIM in the S6 Edge Plus, but it's only seeing band 20, it's not seeing band 1 or band 3 in LTE, unfortunately. Okay, so obviously since this is using 5 megahertz of the band 1 spectrum for 4G, if I just lock it to 3G, we'll be able to see that um, the 3G 2100 will only be a single carrier, although this might see other masts in the area so we can see that, that we've only got 10661 as the 3G carrier because obviously the other sort of 5 megahertz is being used for the 4G as we said and if I just now look at 3G 900 or 900 megahertz spectrum we'll be able to see that the 900 megahertz starts off at 2963 which is the normal 3G 900 carrier for O2 but then goes to 3087 which is the other carrier that O2 has. So now I'm connected to an O2 site which you can see is carrying band 20 and band 3 and CA on the S6 Edge Plus but if we look at the band locked Moto G here we can see it's also carrying 4G 2100 MHz as well. I'm a bit disappointed that it's not sort of CAing all three but nonetheless I am very pleased to see some band 1 4G on O2. Um, so thanks very much for watching.